This is my project to show you how to generate a simple, fast and easy drawing. My project contains a DEM raster layer, a WMS layer, two polygon layers and a point layer with different representations. First, click on project and go to new print layout. Choose a distinctive name like I do. This will open a new window. We are now in the print layout. Do a right click on the print area and choose the page properties. Choose your right page size. In my case, it's Dean A3. It's possible to zoom in and out with your mouse wheel. If you click on the magnifier with the three arrows, the page become full window size. Click on the white map with the plus sign on it. The vertex points and edges are automatically snapped. Hold your left mouse button and draw your map area. You can move the map area with the tool select move item or you can move the item content. The item of the map is displayed in the right hand upper corner. I choose a scale of 1 to 350. A rotation or another CRS is not necessary in my case. There are other and many options available, but they are not covered in this tutorial. If the map position and the map content is right, you can hook the little padlock on the upper right hand side. Now you can move the map or the content. All active layers will be displayed in the layout. This means if you deselect one of them and refresh your layout, the layer won't display it anymore. To avoid this, Activate all layers you want to show, refresh your layout and activate lock layers under the point layer. Now it's possible to have more than one layout with different active layers and they won't mess up your different layouts. At least we need a legend to explain the content of the map. Go to add item and choose add legend. Draw an area on your layout. Now all layers, even deactivated, in your project are part of the legend. First, I set a title for the legend. I would recommend to deactivate auto update. It may destroy your manually added entries or mess up the right order. If the names and the description of your layers is right, activate only show items inside linked map to get rid of the deactivate and not shown layers. I will deactivate this and do it manually. To remove a layer, click on the entry and click on the minus. Most of the entries are changeable by double clicking on it. I change the entry band 1 gray to high in meter. To change the format of the numbers, double click on the high range and set your desired places to round. Inside the legends there are three types of entries, groups, subgroups and normal entries. By clicking with the right mouse button on an entry you can choose the type. I would like to display DEM layer bigger so I change it to group. Now I will add a empty group to my legend. Click on the Add Group button. You can sort by drag and drop all desired entries inside the group and rename it. If you want to hide some layer names, right click and choose Hidden. If you want to hide some features, choose the right entry and click on the minus. The legend entry is gone, but the feature will display it on the map. I will rename the points layer and two of its labels. You can move the legend area if move select item is activated. When everything is ok, activate the little padlock on the legend item. Now you can export your final drawing as a picture, a SVG file or a PDF file.